How y'all do? I'm gonna talk about something that most people don't like to talk about. I have a, uh, a handicap. I guess I could probably, if I wanted to, I could probably get, you know, Social Security for it. <laughs> but, but I don't. Uh, I'm dyslexic. Not, not by a little bit, by a lot. Oh, school was never really good for me. And I look at uh, words like pictures. Can't spell at all. Even four or five letter words I cannot spell, but I can read. It, it's hard to explain this to people. I can't read out loud, but what I read, what I read is legit. I can tell words are misspelled when I read it, but I can't tell you how to spell it right. It's, 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 it's really fucking weird. It really is. But uh, when I knew school wasn't working for me, it wasn't just me. My dad said flat out, if you ain't going to go to school, I'm going to sign you out and get your ass to work. And I did. I built lockers for a while. And I've been in many schools building lockers. I've made a lot of money. I actually made it. In one year, I made more money than my father did building lockers when I was 17 years old. Then I... I got into recycling. I got a uh, girl I was dating. Her dad worked at a recycling plant. I did that for like nine and a half years. I was good at it. And then during that time, I ended up getting with my wife in between that, that, that the time of working for a recycling place. And uh, it, it, it got to the point then where after that, I, I could not find a job. I could not find a fucking job. And, uh, Put in many applications. I had to take her with me to fill them out because I can't fucking spell. It's fucking weird. It's weird. I can tell a word spelled wrong, but I can't fucking tell you how to spell right. It's, it's, it's hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. I got into roofing. And I'm going to tell you, if you're a dumbass, as long as you're willing to work, roofing is the way to go. And I did that for 14 and a half years. Make good money doing it. But I'm still dys dyslexic as a son of a bitch. I can't spell five letter words. I can't spell six letter words. I can't I can't even spell the the Now listen, I lived in this area forever. For nine years. I still cannot spell the road I live on. And it's only a six letter word. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Sometimes I get it right, but most of the time I get it wrong. I fill out these stupid forms for for buying a handgun. You got to say what color your hair is. I spell blonde with a D and E at the end. Not, you know that's fucking wrong. But I still do it. Uh, dyslexia. <laughs> There's a lot of us out there. I think most of us are in jail, I believe, because I can't figure out how to adjust to the world it is a problem I mean how do you teach somebody that has the problem I have I am 47 years old and I still can't spell words my wife tells me how to spell for, for 26 or 27 years I still cannot spell it it's, I, I don't I don't get it We don't look at words like you pronounce words. We look at words like your pictures. Uh, I'm assuming if I was a uh, Chinese, I, I don't mean to stereotype. If I was Chinese or Korean, where the, there's a picture for a word, I, I would, I would probably know all that shit. I would, because every word I look at is a picture. It's not the word. I see a picture. This is kind of a stupid video, but not because there's many people out there just like me. And a lot of people look at this video and say, well, you're just a stupid ass redneck. Well, you are correct, but it has nothing to do with why I cannot fucking spell. <laughs> I can read. I can read anything. And then when I read something, I remember every little bit about it. It's a funny story. I got this dyslexia. 
and I'm working for a roofing company and the roofing company has to make sure everybody is uh, certified for the for uh, uh, CPR. The funny part about this, the lady was talking and I remember everything she said and, and every answer I had and the, because I read it all, I got a hundred percent on the fucking test. A hundred fucking percent on the test. I could still I could still probably mouth all things that were were said during that test. I got a hundred percent. A hundred percent. The boss called me in and asked me how I cheated. He goes, how did you cheat? I'm like, I didn't cheat. I read it and I, and I answered the question. She goes, you can't fucking spell. It's the exact words. And I'm like, that's not my problem. Uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, what's the word you're looking for? Uh, uh, damn it. You, you, you had to pick the right answer out, out of three. So it wasn't writing anything down because if I had to write anything down, I would have failed. Two years later, we had to do the test again. <laughs> Here, here's the funny part. Here's the funny part about this story. Two, year, two years later, we had to do the test again for, or, you know, we had to, all, all the foremans had to pass the, C, the CPR class. So two years later, when we had to pass the CPR class again, the boss grabbed all the papers and said, here, copy off Junior. And everybody got 100%. Guess what? I had to go see the boss again. And the boss goes, how did everybody get 100%? I said, I don't know, boss. I have no idea. Maybe she was a good teacher. <laughs> God bless, Bob.